I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss reasons to compare fractions. Now, when it comes to comparing fractions, one might wonder what the value of that is, and, and then it all depends on what the kind of scenarios that you're working with. Now, when it comes to scenarios such as cooking, as well as money, you might be asked to think about, for example, in cooking, a third of a cup of one thing, a quarter of a teaspoon of something else, and oftentimes it leads you to do what's called comparing unlike quantities because more often than not you might be comparing things with unlike denominators and what you thought was a smaller number might end up being a larger number than you might th might have thought and what you thought was a larger number it might end up being a smaller number than what you have so when it comes to three sevenths and let's just say one half one might think that three sevenths might be larger, but in actuality, three sevenths is a little bit less than one half. And so when it comes to making, comparing unlike quantities, you really need to compare fractions because more often than not, they're not going to be using decimals. Um, the fractions is more concise when it comes to uh, such situations. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's just a few reasons to compare fractions.